Hi, this is Dr. Karens with a brief lecture on managing compensation costs and uh, this is uh, from material provided by the Society of Human Resource Management Module 4 Compensation and Benefits. So they talk about managing compensation costs and uh, we look at uh, something called a COMPA ratio and and really uh, when I first uh, saw the the way the nomenclature of compensation costs this is actually really one of, of pay administration, uh, salary administration. How do you how do you properly pay people, and and what are some of your uh, ways of, of doing so? Uh, where the compensation costs, in my mind, uh, sounded more like controlling costs that are associated with it. However, when you do increase somebody's pay, you do increase your costs. So managing those costs associated with increasing somebody's pay. And so to do that, they give you this uh, ratio to have you compute and uh, to think about where your salaries are. And so I go back to a slide that we had in uh, week three uh, when we were actually looking at establishing pay rates and ranges. And uh, you'll remember the, the uh, wage curve was information that uh, was obtained via uh, survey information of the market and other uh, places that you could gather data and then uh, established your grades and your ranges and you established a minimum range and a maximum range represented by those two uh, dotted uh, lines. So if you think about then establishing where is the midpoint, the wage curve in this sense is the midpoint or the average uh, that's being paid uh, in, the, in the marketplace. And uh, it also uh, looking at what is what is it that you're actually paying that individual and determining are you paying what's the ratio is it below or above that wage curve and why is that significant well as we look at uh, how it's uh, calculated out uh, for us you could see a, an example here that uh, Sarah's salary is 3125 and the midpoint for her pay grade is 3000 so she's being paid 4% above the midpoint and then you see John is less and, and uh, Mike is a little more and uh, Kim is a little less which also just uh, looking at it uh, in perspective there if they're all in the same job uh, it would tell you well first of all we have uh, uh, one one female who's paid less one female is paid more one male is is this is there are, are there any inequities so it's an opportunity for us to uh, examine and ask ourselves when we look at those ratios uh, that's one thing and then it then it also tells us you know are, are there reasons for uh, them being paid above and then do I when it comes time to uh, grant an increase uh, do I want to give a little more to Kim uh, so that she doesn't fall continue to fall behind uh, or do I want to give uh, less uh, to Mike in order to bring things closer together and, and compress things a little more. So there are decision making points for you to think about when it comes to uh, making uh, salary adjustments. So then there are other kinds of things that come into play which uh, I think you're probably mostly familiar with uh, COLAs and, and probably a lot of companies shy away from uh, merit performance and they, they go to this cost of living increase based on the CPI and uh, in the last few years, the CPI hasn't risen that much, so uh, people could be falling behind. There's pros and cons to, uh, to using that uh, as a metric. It also doesn't uh, take into account maybe individual differences in performance and other, other so, uh, things that could be associated with that. And then you might look at uh, are there geographical uh, things to uh, take into consideration adjustments where uh, costs more money perhaps to live in New York City or Washington DC or or California than it might be uh, in some other part of uh, the country and uh, I've seen uh, this uh, kind of taken into account but uh, believe it or not there are are other uh, trade-offs that uh, it may not be just the geography uh, that may need to uh, make an increase just because you move into uh, a particular geographically more expensive area. However, there are some big uh, ticket shocks uh, to take into effect. And then some other things to, to think about though is that there are uh, Equal Pay Act, which I talked about earlier in one of the other uh, discussions, uh, Lilly Ledbetter uh, Fair uh, Pay Act and Equal Pay that 
things that uh, need to happen and we showed you already here uh, ways to uh, examine uh, perhaps the things that are happening in your area to see are you creating inequities and then it is okay to have uh, differentiation as a result of jobs all jobs are not cre created equal and obviously you have differences due to pay grades and other uh, sorts of things to uh, uh, to think about so you can compensate differently for dissimilar jobs so that's it for managing compensation costs or looking at ways to uh, affect pay increases and the uh, increases have an effect on overall expenses so you want to have a strategy associated with that. For more information uh, look at your material for the Society of Human Resource Management Module 4 Compensation and Benefits.